The basis of defense is understanding the weapons of your enemy and malware intelligence allows us to do exactly that. So over the last year we've increased the amount of malware we get into our sandbox in incredible volumes. So I believe we now actually see the most malware of anyone. And what we're doing now is they're helping our users to search in that huge repository and also to automatically create hunting packages for malware. So this is democratizing, I would say, malware analysis turning it from something which only the most specialized can do to something which many more in threat intelligence can work with. Now we can speed up reaction time by incident responders by at least 62%. So typically today, I mean, it takes from hours to days to manually craft the R roll. So with this technology, we can do it in a few minutes. I think we're the most proud that it's actually this fast and it's possible to do at this kind of scale. We can look at so many files, we can look at so much goodware to make sure that we don't hit anything unnecessarily in such short time that it's absolutely mind-boggling. The algorithms are inspired from bioinformatics, so we haven't really seen anyone uh, employing these methods to, to the field of malware. So this, this is, I think, pretty cool. It's one thing to just analyze malware and find the IOCs, the indicators of compromise, which you can get from that. But you really want to tie that back to the threat actors, to previous attacks and things like that. So the intelligence graph enriches the information we get from malware and connects it with threat actors, historical victims and all kind of other things.